Here we are at the very end of the van build, 2018 Enigmatic Pneumatic Van Build in Parker, Arizona. There's a uh, Dave out playing music. I've been working on uh, a van myself all day, so I'm just getting to the crowd. The crowd's already been here and eating, so the festivities are well underway, and it seems like everybody's having a great time. I'm gonna take a moment and make some announcements, and we're gonna give away a donated van that had a lot of do donated um, amenities and labor to it as a van dweller van to somebody who doesn't know they're gonna get it. And we're gonna do that in just a few minutes. I'm just making sure that they're, Savannah, get out of that. We're just, I just wanna make sure that he's up here so when I say his name and everything, and see if he wants it even. I mean, he's got a truck, but I heard that uh, maybe this could be a good thing for him and he's a good guy. So that's what we're about to do. Check it out. In the abandoned old prison down by every hill Where the air smelled like snakes and we shoot with our pistols but empty pop bottles was all we would kill. Hey everybody, I just want to say thank you for coming out to the 2018 third annual Van Bill party. Let's just get that out of the way. Hope everybody's having a good time. Thank you for coming out. I just want to, uh, we have a few announcements going on. I want to thank the volunteers that uh, came and kind of worked. And I know a lot of you guys put your own money into some of the builds you saw. So let's hear it for the volunteers, everybody. How about it? So even if you see trash around that's not yours, please pick it up. I've got to do a debriefing with the BLM office and fill out a report. And based on how we leave this land, it has a lot to do with if we're going to wind up getting it again. I'm going to probably look on into some private land. I've got a few things in the hopper to make this better. But we do want to make sure that we stay on the good side of the BLM office. We're in on the good side of it. We just want to make sure it stays that way. So please uh, help me on that. You got louder volume? How's this? Is this better? Yeah, <laughs> The last thing that I would like to discuss, pay attention right now. If you guys are talking, pay attention right now. After this, you know, whatever, but pay attention right now. Some of you don't know this, but we had a donation of a van dweller van. Just the core, just the shell. And over the course of the van bill, Mark and Giselle have been working feverishly through donated things to put a fan on it, a fantastic fan, to put solar on it, to put coach batteries on it, to build it out with kind of a bed and everything. So someone who is very, very deserving might wind up with it. And so that's what these guys have been doing. Let's hear it from Mark and Giselle. We have the recipient, if he chooses to accept it, of course. Oh, okay. Jeremy, get over here. <laughs> I had it. The man, Jeremy. But I want to ask you, Jeremy, I've heard a lot of good things about you. I know you have a truck. I don't want to stand in the way of a man in his truck. <laughs> yeah, I fought hard to get that. I'm absolutely sure of it. But I've been hearing that you've been working so hard on these solar teams pitching in to help other people. Could you use something like this if we were to offer it to you? Yeah, I could. Speaking of the mic. Yes, I could. So we have a recipient of the van. I couldn't be happier, and I think it's going to a great guy. Let's give a big round of applause for Jeremy and all his efforts at the van build. made sure that we got the curtains and everything in like man colors for you. Thanks, I appreciate that. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Giselle, you're awesome. You know, I seen what you were doing and I was impressed and got you to create a box for my truck. And that overwhelmed me with surprise. I was impressed so well and I know I'll definitely get use and enjoy every minute of that van. So, thank you. Can I just I say that Giselle it. made that box knowing you were going to get this van, but she did it anyway. I know. So I, I was, I was kind of like, um, it, when Seth came over and grabbed me, I'm like, uh oh. I'm like, this ain't get, good if I'm getting called up here. No, I'm like, I'm in trouble. No, you're good. You're not I'm so in trouble. <laughs> if you guys get a chance and want to come and check out the awesome work of Mark and Giselle, come check this van out because it's, it's a better start than I got off on when I started living this way. Well, then I started living this way, and I'm proud. I couldn't be prouder than to be passing it along to Jeremy. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yep. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Where is, where is Seth? I think Seth wanted to make some announcements. Is Seth around? 
Well, since we're talking about Jeremy, he really does deserve it. This guy was literally carving turkey, and I had to pull him off it to get him here to accept the van. But anyways, I want to let you guys all know, um, we're working in the backgrounds to get all of the permits and everything all set for this, but I have the green light. December 23rd through January 6th, we are going to have a campsite cleanup and New Year's party in Ehrenberg. Stay tuned. YouTube.com slash Nomad Everywhere. The announcements will be coming out in the next week or so. I have you guys enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming out, and uh, we'll see you next year. Come take a look at this van. It's pretty awesome. Wow. Jeremy, I'm so happy Are you for still you. Making I said yes. Yes. Here, drop off the truck. Mm. We've got another water tank here. Okay. It's filled, and then this one's for your drinking water. Okay. And uh, so your bedroll is going to go right here, buddy. Okay. So Waiting on the mattress to come Yeah, in. and this is and, uh, all your kitchen supplies. No worries. Your little kitchenette here, so you can have, you, there's towels and stuff. You like yourself. Yeah, every morning, I'm working out at 7 in the morning, and Mark's already working on this thing. Yeah. Two weeks straight. Mark's been really, I would give more credit to Mark. Yeah. He did a lot of work. I, I helped, you know, with a little bit of the woodwork. You got a new house. You don't have to live out in the in the weather anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you got a roof over your head. Yeah, and I can stretch out. That's you can. Oh, I'm sorry. The cab was getting a little cramped. No, you can literally stretch out. Yep. You got room to grow. Yeah. Yeah. Put some stuff, some tools. That's awesome. Isn't that great? When? I have to drink my beer. Yeah. Just asked you a couple days ago what you were driving. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah now. Uh, <laughs> now you can now say no, an awesome van. Yeah, an awesome yeah. van. Now uh, Nomad with the trucks got to get changed. Let's go. It would be a very uh, good popular channel if I ain't driving a truck. But <laughs> I think I'll be happy. I'm definitely gonna be happy. Yeah. It's an awesome little build out. Yeah. yeah it's a great I can little build. Chill. Door open. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. Love it. Very you awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Think we'll you might definitely. keep it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt in my mind, brother. Not one doubt in my mind. So much. What's up, Jeremy? Good morning, man. How's hey, it going? A little backstory is uh, when we pulled up here, it was so crowded. Right. Uh, we didn't. We were supposed to be down with the carpenters, mm -hmm. and uh, we pulled, so we parked on the highway and came and asked uh, Jamie. Um, what should we park? And he said, well, I got a special job for you park right here. Right. So uh, we, he, he told, showed me this van and we stripped out all the seats and uh, put in a floor and a, and a kitchenette and a bed and uh, just kept working on it every day a little bit, putting more stuff in it until we ran out of time. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, it's amazing. You've seen it already. So the walk around, you yep. know, we've got the bed, we got the kitchenette. Yep. A little stove there that you can do a little outside of in here with this little table here. Yep, yep. Um, and people came around and threw, threw little things in there like a little cast iron pan and a little yeah, stove and yeah. propane bottles, towels, all that right, stuff. Right. Um, yeah, it's been real fun. I bet, man. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm very happy, man. Well, he apparently worked so hard we could keep him in the community. Yeah. And uh, this is one way to keep him in the community. For sure. Give him a home to live in. Yep. Definitely. We put a um, 120, 130 watt solar panel up here. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the roof vent. Yep. And then the group guys ran the 500 watt inverter and the solar charge controller. Two Optima Blue Top batteries. Ran a wire up so you could charge while you're driving. And exciting to get that kind of project. Right, when we pulled up. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm on that. <laughs> so we got on designing it and. Uh, and we built it. It was a challenge because it's such a small vehicle. Yeah. And you're trying to get what we can use. You know, have a little kitchenette, have a bed, have storage. And we're we're still like still have space. Yeah. We're big on space. You know, we don't like to be cramped with you know unnecessary. You got to use every square inch in this one. The ladies did a wonderful job with the curtains. Oh, also, yeah, I know. they look great. And the curtains and the cushion for the little bench that comes out. Yep. Well, yeah, the little sliding bench. Yeah. That little addition, I said, you need a sack to sit on. So, because it's just uh, the bed's kind of high, so yeah. you can sit here with your feet out, sit that way with your feet out. Yep. Yep. Just push it away. Right, 
toilet. Easy. Over the toilet. Yeah, and then that water jug you can put up here mm -hmm. when you're washing it with yeah. dishes and whatever you need. Right, so. I, I could put like a little uh, container and then throw right. my dishwater in there and be able to do and my dishes later, up. Yep, yep. Exactly. Yeah, so, so multi-purpose, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Custom fitted with Reflectix. Right. <laughs> that was another crew, the Reflectix crew. Right. You, you just don't know how much this means. I mean, you know, going from a small cab where I'm crunched up sleeping or sleeping in the bed exposed to this. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh. It's so I'm in, I'm in like total freaking amazement on how well that turned out. And then here I was coming over giving her advice on this little spice rack thing over here, not realizing that this was gonna be for me. And I'm like, oh yeah, that'll look cool, because I think it's for a little old lady. So You're much, welcome. guys. You guys did yeah. so much excellent work. Yeah, things on there. This will be going on well, yeah, to show who did, the, who did the rig, so definitely got to give them credit. You know, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Now I'm jealous. <laughs>